My name is Laura Daly and I am the uh, program manager for apprenticeships with Kindred Healthcare. Kindred Healthcare is a nationwide healthcare organization that has hospitals in long-term acute care, rehabilitation, and behavioral health settings. We, we knew we wanted to do something for entry-level positions, including which, which now includes for us, nurse assistant, environmental services, um, restorative nurse aid. We have a, a nurse residency for our rehabilitation nurses, and we have a cook apprenticeship program. Um, we knew we wanted to do something to kind of recognize folks in these roles and give them more opportunities to grow within their position and within their job at the hospital, give them more education because we have such specialized hospital settings that we wanted to kind of advance their skills beyond um, just, you know, what may be needed to get the job, like a certified nurse assistant, you know, certification as, as an example. Our partnership with Equus has been uh, phenomenal. I mean, they've been extremely helpful in, in us taking the next step. So we started in June 2020 with our program, but we didn't start working with Equus until just recently. And we, at that point, were ready to take the next step in our apprenticeship programs to have more ownership and responsibility from Kindred as a corporation. Equus really took the step to give us basically the confidence that we can and should assign, uh, apply to have a kindred sponsored national, re nationally recognized program, which now we have thanks to Equus and our partnership. There's just so many little steps with when you're working with the DOL that if you are new to it, like we are, it's a different language that we have started to get to learn and know. And, and the folks at Equus have just been extremely helpful and kind of fast tracking that for us and helping us wade wade through those waters. So that's probably the biggest outcome of working with Equus has been that we now have a kindred sponsored national program through the help of Equus. So we've had quite a few successes that we're really proud of. Um, a couple of them I'll just mention. One of them is our capstone project. We have our nurse assistant apprentices complete a capstone at the end of their year. And that is an opportunity for them to take on something that they're just interested in personally, that they wanna learn more about or expose the hospital staff to, or it's something that the hospital needs um, to enhance the patient experience, you know, for example. So our apprentices have taken this and really run with it. Um, some have created posters about disease specific content and then they post them in the hospital and they share them with their peers. So it's peer to peer learning and engagement. So capstone projects have been, they're just fun to see and they're really giving the apprentice an opportunity to engage with their role and with their team, you know, beyond just their peers, but with all of the interdisciplinary therapy, you know, staff um, and leaders that work in the hospital as well. Um, I think another big success of ours is we started a registered apprenticeship advisory council and we meet quarterly. That council is across the division of leaders in the hospital. There's apprentices that join as well um, and, uh, and us as, as program managers. And we just connect about successes, things that could be done better. We strategize about thinking about, you know, the next steps um, as we continue to grow and expand the program. So through that, we have built advanced skill curriculum um, for the apprentices to continue in their year two experience. Um, we've, we've really connected to the apprentices to get to know what they need and what they want in terms of recognition and um, opportunities. So I think our advisory council is one thing that you know I, is, is a big success. It's been extremely helpful for us as we've built and grown our programs. You are never gonna know everything that you think you need to know or that you should know before you start an apprentice program. Um, if you keep at the core that you're going to be giving an individual an opportunity to grow and you think of what the experience of that person going through your program, then it's, I think, gonna be a success.